Everybody, Gary here, GK Aquatics. Today I'm going to give you an update on this tank because I did something different. Okay, this was the 55 that was sitting outside, and I had to, I had to move it because of another project that is going in that place. Now, when I'm the way it was before, it was in, uh, it was in the shade. And now it's in direct sunlight. It's been a week since I've moved it, so let's see what the difference is. What has happened in just a week. As you can see, I'm hoping that gets it. Okay, as you can see right up here, I've got a bunch of hornwort right up there. Now it appears to be covered with algae after just a week in the sun down on the cord for the heater too. Only one of the heaters is plugged in now because I really don't need two in there. But even the filter, it's probably actually plugged that filter up so it's probably not doing much. I need to change that out with a larger pour uh, sponge filter that I have. Now a couple of positive things. Oh, tomorrow is water change day, so don't mind the mess. That'll all be gone tomorrow. A couple of positive things have happened. Look at how these electric blue Acaras have colored up. That is amazing. And look at how clear, crystal clear the water is. Ooh, look, a couple bees on the flowers behind it. That's pretty cool too. But anyway, that's some interesting things that have happened. I'm going to let this go. Um, continue on this way. There's a couple guppies we've thrown in here too. I hope y'all can even see that. The Akaras don't seem to bother them. My silly dog likes the Akaras and the bees apparently. But yeah, so they're no worse for wear here. I do have the top opened so that I will get some evaporative cooling so it doesn't get too hot. Because we are in Florida, it's about 82 degrees right now, which means the tank, <laughs> it feels nice and cool actually, so. Uh, it's 55 gallons. It'll hold the temperature for a while. Now, one thing I've noticed, too, is one of the Akaras likes going in that cave. Hmm. Makes me wonder. Now, I put this cup over here for them. But they seem to prefer the cave, which is actually here for the bris bristle nose. And he's hiding underneath the uh, he's hiding underneath the sponge filter. I don't know if we can even see him in there. Probably not. Uh, a little bit over there. But anyway, so there we go. We're gonna let this go for a while more, and I'm gonna see what happens because this water is actually crystal clear. It's amazing, and everything's healthy. Algae is a plant. So it's going to absorb the nitrates and stuff and some of the other some of the other stuff in there nutrients, micronutrients, all that. But with this amount of sunlight, I mean it's inevitable this thing will eventually be covered in uh, algae. Oh, there goes my neighbor. All right. All right. Now, I, when I said, told you I moved this tank over here to make room for another project, it is another fish project. So stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Like, share, subscribe. In the description, there's a link for PayPal. You can buy me a cup of coffee. That'd be much appreciated. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.